guys, it's Holly, and today I'm going to show you how to make this Harry Potter miniature doll room. I am so excited. I love Harry Potter, and I am a proud Hufflepuff, so of course I made a Hufflepuff-themed doll room. This is the kit that I used to make this dollhouse. It's called The Heart of the Ocean, and it's from Banggood.com. I will put the link to it down below in the description. The kit comes with everything you need to make the dollhouse, except for batteries for the light. You get an instruction booklet with detailed instructions on how to put everything together. So first I'm going to cut out the floor and then glue that to the base. This is the wallpaper that came with the kit, but I printed my own and I used the wallpaper that came with it as a template. And then I'm just going to trace the window onto the back of the wallpaper to cut it out. And then I glued that on. Then you'll need to poke holes where the music box and the lights are going to go. I actually didn't use the music box that came with the kit. I bought my very own special music box that you will hear later that I am very excited about. So you just attach the music box and screw it in. Then you can glue the wall to the floor. The only thing I don't like about this kit is there's only one wall, so later I end up adding some walls. Then I'm going to put together the windowsills. The kit comes with plastic sheeting so you can make the windows look like they have glass in them. And then the kit also came with wire that you can use to make the window handles. And glue those on. One window sill fits into the window flush and then the other one is a little bit open. Then I'm going to glue together my little shelf desk. This is the most complicated piece of furniture in this kit. To start off, you have a little box that's basically going to cover the music box against the wall. Then there is a shelf piece that attaches to it. When it's done, it should look like this. I decided that I didn't really like how it looked white, so I decided to paint it a dark brown to make it look more Harry Potter-ish. The side table in the bed in this kit were blue, so I decided to paint them a honey brown color. And I painted them this color because the description of the Hufflepuff common room is actually mentioning a golden honey type of wood. So I wanted to make it at least somewhat accurate to what the Hufflepuff common room would look like. And because I'm a nerd, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I glued together the little side table. I added the drawers and then added some yellow beads for the handles and I know they don't really match but I kind of like that. I painted the bed the same brown color and then glued it together. And then again added the drawers with the yellow knobs. Then for the bed you're going to glue the bottom of the bed to felt and I used about three layers of felt just to make the bed look more plush. I printed my own fabric for the bedspread and I'm really happy with how this came out. I will put the link to printable fabric down below in the description but you can basically print it with your home printer and then just rip off the back and then you have fabric and it's really really cool. I'm really excited about this bedspread also because I had already planned on using it when I read the description of the Harry Potter dorm and they actually have quilts on their beds so it kind of really fit and I was really really excited. Then you glue that to the bed and then stick it on. I just love it. It's so cool. <laughs> then I made some pillows and I used the same badger that was on the bedspread to make the little pillows. You just sew these together. These are really super tiny and a little bit challenging to sew. You can't really turn it inside out with your fingers. You have to use a stick or in my case the end of a paintbrush. The kit comes with some polyfill that you can use to do your pillows. So these are all of the pillows that I made. I printed off some more fabric for the curtains, so I just cut out two rectangles and then glued them to some wire and then pinched them in the middle and then glued that to the wall. This is what the chair is supposed to look like, but I thought that looked a little bit too fancy for this kit because the Harry Potter world is very rustic, so I decided to make a more rustic chair. So I kind of MacGyvered my own chair using the pieces from the kit. So the flat piece is actually supposed to be, I think, part of the computer that's supposed to go in this kit but Harry Potter doesn't have a computer no one has a computer so I just decided to use it to make the chair and I think it came out pretty cool for me not having any instructions on how to do it I find that painting something after you've hot glued it makes it look a lot neater because you're covering all the hot glue to make the bottom of the chair I just cut out a little piece of felt and then covered it with the same material as the curtains to make the light fixture I used all pieces that came with the kit bend some wire, glue it all together, and you have your little light fixture. String the lights through the wall, and then glue it on. I got this little bird cage in the miniature section at Michael's, and I'm going to put an owl in it because every Hogwarts student needs a pet, so mine is going to have a little owl. So I just pulled this apart, and then I made a little owl out of polymer clay, 
and I really wanted it to be small enough to fit inside of the little cage. So I basically just made a little ball and then I added wings and textured it a little bit and then added the eyes and a beak and I think she came out so cute. I named her Ruby and I think she's really adorable. I also didn't film it, but I made a little broom and I'm so happy with how this came out. It has a wire inside of it to make sure that it's not super fragile, but I absolutely love how this came out. It fits perfectly with my doll that I'm going to be using later on. You'll see pictures. Then I found some Harry Potter textbook covers and I shrunk them down to make little bitty books. I think these are really cool. You can find them on Pinterest or pretty much anywhere on the internet. To make the books, you just need to make sure you have a lot of white space. To make a book you just accordion fold the white and then glue it all together to make a little tiny book. I made a lot of books to add to the bookshelf. Then I made a tiny book of monsters and I think it came out really cute. I really like it. To make tiny potions I bought this giant bucket of assorted glass beads from Hobby Lobby and this was definitely the funnest part of this whole process because making tiny potion bottles is super fun. All you need to do is find some smaller beads that look like the bottom of a potion bottle and then I found a bunch of potion labels and I shrunk them down and cut them out and I think they're really cool and you just glue them onto a bead and then you add a smaller rounder bead to be the top of the bottle and then it's a little potion bottle! It's so cute and it was really really fun to do. I like that they're all different, it feels very Harry Potter to me so I was really happy with those. So now I'm just going to add all of my furniture into my room. I glued all of my books to the bookshelf and added all of the potions. This was really really fun to do. To make a tiny plant, I'm using things that came with the kit, so I'm just going to cut some of this green shrubbery to fit inside of the flower pot, and then glue that into the little cubby. I made some teeny tiny candy, so I made some Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans and a Chocolate Frog, a Daily Prophet. I also made a Marauder's Mat that you can see later on, adding the wall decorations. The kit comes with some plastic sheeting, so I used that to make extra walls for this kit because I didn't like that I only had the one back wall and I wanted to add more posters. Adding in a bunch of other details, I found this little flower pot that looks kind of like a cauldron, so I just got that to add as a little detail. And then, like magic, you have a Harry Potter dollhouse. And this is what the music box sounds like. A lot of you were asking me what size the stall house is. It is about six inches tall and maybe about eight inches wide. It is not very big. The type of doll that I use for this is called a Q-Posh. Dendroids do work as well, but this is a really small dollhouse, so you need a really small doll. I made a little Harry Potter outfit for my Q-Posh, and I think it looks so cute! I'm so happy with it. I also made her a little tiny wand. Oh, it's so cute. I had so much fun posing her with the owl and with the broom. It just was really, really fun for me. I will put the link to where you can buy Q-Poshes down below in the description, as well as where you can buy this dollhouse kit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out my other dollhouse videos, I will put the playlist down below in the description. If you want to see all of the photos, I put them on my Flickr and I will put that link down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.